everyone and welcome to another SQL query training session with Lan at Nostar. In today's session, we are going to write a SQL query to sort alphanumeric data in a table. Now, how could that be a challenge? Let's see and let's get started. So I have some data which is a mix of numbers and alphabets in my table. So I have created some sample data in this table. The scripts are all provided in the link below in the description. So you can have the create table scripts as well as the SQL that we're going to write. So I have some sample data. I have some numbers. I have some alphabets in this uh, table which have some numbers also included in the string itself now this data is not very complicated which means that they are not numbers at the beginning of the string or in the middle of the string somewhere we are considering a simpler example in which we have some numbers and some alphabets with numbers in them now to sort any data we can simply use an order by command so let's just order by this column and see that what are the results that we get if we just write a simple order by statement so if we do that what we see is that we get the numbers which are sorted alphabetically which means after one you get a 10 instead of a 2 and so on now if you just have numeric data, then it's easy to uh, correct this kind of sorting by converting this column into an integer. And when the column is integer and you sort it by using just an order by command, it will work correctly. But when you also have alphabets in that column, then obviously you cannot cast this column as an integer. So what do we need to do? The approach is simply to again extract the numbers as one substring and all the alphabets as another substring and then use both of these columns to sort the data. Now, the first step here is to extract the numbers and extract the alphabet. Now, this is a simple data, assuming that we have some numbers and some alphabets, after which there are some numbers or suffix to them. So, what function that we're going to use for this purpose is the pat index function. The pat index function will output the position where that particular pattern that you're trying to match in the string occurs. So, let's see what will be the output by using this function in a select state. So when we write the pat index function, it will take two arguments. The first argument is the pattern that you want to search for. So the pattern that we want to search for are any numbers. So the entire range of numbers and they might occur anywhere in the string. So let's simply write a person and define the range of numbers which can be defined by 0 to 9 within square brackets and use another person and close it and the string on which you want to find or the column where you want to find this pattern is id so this should be a function uh, let's execute this much so now when you execute the query you will see that one in the first one it's a simple number so at the very first position it found a number in the second row where we have a combination of alphabets and numbers at the sixth position it found the occurrence of a number so this is what the pat index function would return now once we have this position where the numbers begin in the string we know how much we need to extract for the alphabetic portion and from the position at which the numbers start the remaining string is going to be the numeric string so to do that what we are going to use again let's first extract the alphabetic portion and we are assuming that the data has alphabets at the beginning and then the numbers occur so we are just simply going to use the left function over here okay and the string on which we want to perform the left function is the id column and we want to extract till the position where the numbers start okay so I mean one position before that because we want to extract only the alphabets. So if the number begins at position number 6, what we want to extract it till is number 5 because the first 5 letters are the alphabet. Okay. So there would be a minus 1 here and if we close the bracket, again execute this query. 
we will see that we have got the alphabet in the output and where the row value was only a number you have got null values okay so here we have successfully extracted the alphabetic portion of the string the next step is to extract the num uh, the numeric portion of the string so for the numeric portion of the string we again are going to use the pattern index function to find out the position from which we want to start extracting okay so here now i am going to use the substring function i'm going to start from the position where i found my numeric value so this is going to be the pat index function okay okay first you have to find the string on which you want to perform this substring so that is going to be the id column then the starting position of the numeric value so from this position till uh, the end which is going to be the length of the id column okay and closing the brackets okay now let's execute this query and see what are the outputs okay we have an extra bracket so let's remove that and execute it again okay so now we can see that we have two columns the first column has extracted only the alphabetic portion and the second column has the numeric values now what we need to do is sort by these columns um so now let's use them in our order by clause so order by these two columns that we just generated and this from clause will go over here so we are going to select only the id column because these are intermediate values which we do not want to output so what we are going to do is use them in the order by directly you can also uh, use them in the select statement give them an alias and then use them in the order by as well that will work fine as well so now let's execute this string and see if we get the sorting correctly so if we execute this what we are going to get over here is 1 10 2 21 2 and 10 alpha 1 and so on so again the sorting is not uh, the way we want it because the numbers have not been sorted correctly they have still been uh, sorted um, more in an alphabetic fashion so what we need to do here is we need to uh, convert this portion the numeric portion that we extracted from the string into an integer only then they will be sorted correctly so to do that we are simply going to use a convert function convert into integer this value okay and now if we execute this we will get the results correctly so 1 2 10 21 2 and 10 alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 11 so this is how we can do the alpha numeric sorting for simpler set of data if the data is more complicated meaning there can be numbers anywhere in the string and you need to define a certain uh, pattern in which you need to um, sort your data then you will have to define a more uh, complex function a user defined function or something like that and use that that would be a more complex code piece of code that you would need to write but for simpler data that in many cases and scenarios do exist data i have seen data exists which is simply a combination of alphabets and numbers in this fashion then you can simply use the pattern index function to extract the numbers and the alphabets separately and then use those two columns to sort the data I hope that you found this video useful. If you know of any other way in which we can achieve this, then please do post that in the comments below. Also, if you did like the video, then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.